Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll show you how to use rules to automatically add a label to an email when it arrives in your Gmail inbox. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. To add a label to any email that comes into my inbox, I need to follow a two-step process. Firstly, I'll confirm how labels should be added to an email. I can do this based on the email address and sent them, who the email was sent to, or even any words that are used in the email. And then, I need to tell Gmail what labels to add to the email. If you want to add labels automatically based on an email address, a quick tip is to choose the email you want by selecting the checkbox to the left of it. And if I move my mouse to the top of the inbox, you'll see there is a three dots ellipsis icon that has some more hidden options behind it. Let's click on that once. A number of options are shown and I'm going to choose filter messages like these. When I click on that, the Gmail search filter box is shown. And if I briefly close that, you'll see that all the emails I've received from that email sender have been selected. Let's go back into the search filter box by moving to the Gmail search bar at the top of the inbox. And I'm going to click on the show search options icon. The filter box then reappears and you'll see that the email message is already pre-populated. I'm going to add a label based on the email address, but you can also choose to add labels based on who the email was sent to, or even on any words that are used in the email. Once you've chosen your rules criteria, we need to tell Gmail which label to add to it. To do that, I'll move my mouse to the bottom of this box, and I'll click on the Create Filter option to confirm I want to use this email address to select emails. A new box then pops up that asks you to choose what you want to do with an email once it's been identified by Gmail. There are a number of options shown here, but to automatically add a label based on your filter criteria, we're interested in the Apply the Label option. I'll click once in the checkbox next to that choice to select it, and I'll move my mouse to the Choose Label drop down next to it, and click on the small arrow to open that. A number of existing labels are shown, and you can choose to add your email to one of those labels if you wish. However, I'll click back into the drop down as I want to create a new label. I can do that by clicking once on the new label option. A pop-up box then appears that asks you to enter the name of the label you want to create. I'll call my label new label and I can confirm that by clicking on the large blue create button. My new label is now selected in the filter box. Before I confirm this rule, I also want to select the last option in this box to also apply the filter to the existing matching messages. By choosing this option, all of the existing emails that match my criteria will have the label added to them automatically. I'll click on the checkbox once to do that. Once I'm happy with my filter setup, I can then confirm it by clicking on the large blue Create Filter button. The Gmail inbox then reloads and you'll see that our new label has been added to all the emails received from that email sender. And if I click into that label name in the left hand panel, you'll also see all the emails I've received from that person are grouped under the label. Any new emails that you now receive from that sender are also then automatically added to this label as each new one arrives. I hope you find this Woggle Guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching.